want to start this half hour with some breaking news out of Castleton this afternoon. State police releasing a sketch of the suspect they believe is involved in the death of Honor Ray Fleming. NBC 5's Lauren Granada joins us live in Castleton tonight with the latest on the investigation. Lauren? Brian and Alice police just released this sketch of the person of interest in the killing of 77 year old Honore Fleming. This is the person they've been looking for for six days now. Take a better look for yourself. Uh, the sketch ex reflects exactly how police have been describing him. A white man in his 20s, 5 feet 10 inches tall with short red hair who was last seen wearing a dark gray T-shirt and black backpack. Police tell us multiple witnesses saw the alleged suspect acting in a suspicious way, either running or walking fast from the scene on Thursday. And this sketch was made based off of those witness descriptions of him. This is a, a composite and that's this is the best from their recollection. So it's not going to be 100% perfect, but just like any other composite sketch, it could be some uh, variations. So if you see some variations and you, and you think it might be the person, please reach out and we can look into it. Do not try to do anything on your own. Contact contact the police, nearest agency, 911, the tip line, and then pass that information on. Police say the former Castleton Dean was out for a walk on the rail trail, something she would typically do when she was fatally shot last Thursday. Fleming's body has been processed for fibers, but DNA testing has not been done yet in the lab. At this point, police have received hundreds of tips. Again, they say if you see a person who looks like this or you think you know who this person is, do not approach him. Contact police instead. That number is on your screen right now. And we will, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you updates as we get them. For now, we're live here in Castleton. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News. Lauren, thanks. You can get those latest updates on the story by going to our website, mynbc5.com, or using the MyNBC5.